welcome back to our mathematics session number system the first question in exercise 1.1 reads like this is 0 a rational number can you write it in the form p upon q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 the answer is yes 0 is a rational number since it can be written in the form p upon q as 0 upon 1. The second question reads like this. Find 6 rational numbers between 3 and 4. Since we ought to find 6 rational numbers, we have to add 1 to 6 to get 7. And the given first number 3 is multiplied and divided by 7 to get 3 into 7, 21 upon 7 and the second number 4 is also multiplied and divided by 7 to get 4 into 7, 28 upon 7. Now it's easier to guess the numbers between 21 upon 7 and 28 upon 7. The numbers that lie are 22 upon 7, 23 upon 7, 24 upon 7, 25 upon 7, 26 upon 7 and 27 upon 7. Now the first and the last number is retained back by simplifying. Seven, one, seven, thrice is twenty-one. That is three, and the rest of the numbers are retained as it is. And the last number seven ones, seven fours is twenty-eight. You get as four. So the rational numbers that lies between three and four are. These 22 upon 7, 23 upon 7, 24 upon 7, 25 upon 7, 26 upon 7 and 27 upon 7. The third question reads like this. Find 5 rational numbers between 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5. Since we ought to find 5 rational numbers, we add 1 to 5 to get 6. And the given first number 3 upon 5 is multiplied and divided by 6 to get 3 into 6, 18 and 5 into 6 in the denominator as 30. And the given second number is also multiplied and divided by 6 to get 4 into 6, 24, 5 into 6, 30 in the denominator. Now it's easier to guess the numbers lying between 18 upon 30 and 24 upon 30. The numbers that lie are... 19 upon 30, 20 upon 30, 21 upon 30, 22 upon 30 and 23 upon 30. Now simplifying and retaining back the first and the last number. That is 6 thrice is 18 and 6 thrice is 30. We get 3 upon 5 and the rest of the numbers are written as it is. And the last number is again simplified. That is 6 fours is 24 and 6 thrice is 30. So the 5 rational numbers that lie between 3 upon 5 and 4 upon 5 are 19 upon 30, 20 upon 30, 21 upon 30, 22 upon 30 and 23 upon 30. The fourth question reads like this. State whether the following statement are true or false. Give reasons for your answers. The sub question is every natural number is a whole number. The answer here is true since natural numbers are in the set of whole numbers and whole number is a set of numbers consisting of natural numbers including zero. And the second sub question is every integer is a whole number. Here Whole numbers consist of positive numbers as you observe here but integers consist of positive numbers and negative numbers hence the answer is false. As you observe in the set of integers you have positive numbers, negative numbers and zero. The next sub question reads like this. Every rational number is a whole number. Here every whole number can be a rational number but every rational number cannot be a whole number. Hence the statement is false because some rational numbers are of the form p upon q which are not whole numbers. 
Let's take a few examples. One upon two, two upon five, four upon nine, etc. are the examples of rational numbers which are not whole numbers. Let's take few more examples of some rational numbers which are whole numbers. Four upon two on simplification you get two. Nine upon three on simplification you get three. So these are the rational numbers which are whole numbers. Some important points to be noted in this segment are first point every natural number is a whole number but every whole number is not a natural number since zero is not a natural number. Next point every whole number is an integer but every integer is not a whole number since negative numbers are not whole numbers. Next. Every integer is a rational number, but every rational number is not an integer, since fractions are not integers. Next, every rational number is a real number, but every real number is not a rational number, since real number consists of irrational numbers as well. In the next episode, we are going to continue with the new concept in number system. Thank you.